Okay. Sorry, I'm almost your lover. File select. I don't know. If sounds coming through. Oh well. And I'm actually doing a playthrough of Sonic Adventure 2, or at least going to attempt to. I'm going to see how this first one turns out and see if I'm actually going to do it. Now, uh, the, so there's two stories in this game. There's the hero and the dark story. Everyone plays similarly on each side. And, uh, the dark story's first level technically comes before the hero story, so I guess I'll do the dark playthrough first, especially since it's shorter. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder alert. Security, Security breach, breach at gate 3. three. Intruder, Intruder has been located in the north quadrant and is moving in the direction of the underground base. All units prepare, prepare to engage. engage. Emergency, Emergency battle, battle formations. formations. Standard battle procedures initiated. Locate and stop the intruder from entering the destroyed area. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. <laughs> that was all too easy. Let's take a look at what my grandfather was working on. A top secret military weapon. But the military shut down the research because they feared it. So here's the first level. Iron Gate. Is stage one of the dark story, and we play as Dr. Aiken. So, as, with this, you jump with A. And you hold down the B button to lock onto stuff, and a cursor reticle thing will appear above them. And then when you let go of the B button, you will shoot. You can also just tap B to shoot bullets and... Which we'll use to break these boxes. And, uh... So... This first level... Oh, and also, you don't, I don't think you lose rings if you get hit. You might, but I know you have a health bar at the bottom. <coughs> if that health bar goes down, you lose. You die. And, yeah. I think if you don't have any rings, you also die, but, uh... Um, yeah, and you have a score for stuff you destroy and for picking up rings. And it will rank you at the end of a level. I'm not going for any kind of rank at all. If I can get S ranks, cool! Or, no, S ranks aren't in this game. If I can get A ranks, cool, but if I can't, oh well. I probably won't get many S ranks. If I do, I'm su I'll surprise myself. But, uh. So. Eggman here, or Robotnik, is looking for. Whichever game you want to call. Is looking for some top secret military weapon or something. And so he has to break through Prison Island in order to find it. I'm not too good with the mech place uh, gaming, as you can tell. Is there anything back here? Uh, 
for um so they're playing all these doors but they've been watching me destroy the doors so there's really no point in putting them up now these doors you have to come back up here and uh, do that and it will break through and then you get to go on dash pads which is weird when you're in a mech oh there's the end let's see how badly I dig shall we see I think the worst you can get is an E rank the best you can get is A C's not bad emblem so when you complete a level you're getting emblem I don't think if you beat a boss you're getting emblem but when you complete a level you're getting emblem This is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. Spoil my plans again. Wait a minute. You're not Sonic. This is impossible. My name is Shadow. Since you were so kind to release me, my master, I will grant you one wish. Now what? Behold the true power I possess. So at this point you don't really oh this is battle against hotshot. So at this point you don't know who this character is, so I won't say the name, but or I don't know, maybe they say his name. If they dig oh well. But uh I didn't hit him. So this person can homing attack by jumping and pushing A again. If you hold down B, you can spin dash. Just like Sonic can. And one thing I want to mention is this game, Sonic Adventure 2, is originally for the Dreamcast, and I'm not playing the Dreamcast version, I'm playing the GameCube re-release, which is Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Not sure of all the differences, but, uh, I know there are some. And, uh, Dr. Eggman has a Chaos Emerald. There we go. So if you jump on the boxes, you can kind of cheat the boss fight and hit him. You're supposed to wait for him to lower his legs so he's on the ground, and then you can jump and hit him. But if you jump on the boxes, you can get some boost, and you're able to hit him from up there. And, uh... And I win. <laughs> Pathetic humans. Destroying that guard robot was spectacular. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. 
But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Ark? special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Look who's calling who a thief. I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald, is it not? Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, knucklehead. Not if I can help it. I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your Emerald. Doesn't matter. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. So now we're playing as Ruse the Bat. So with each story, you play as three characters that act the same with their altered ego characters, or alternate characters in the other storyline. But they play the same as each other, like Knuckles and Rouge will play the same, and uh, Sonic and Shadow will. Now, uh, with this gameplay, you can glide, you can climb walls, just like Knuckles can. Uh, and you're looking for whatever you're looking for at the bottom of the screen there. You'll you'll see the radar. When it's yellow, that means you're, or when it's green, you're in the area, but you don't know exactly where. Uh, when you're uh, yellow, you're near, but you can't, but you're not sure exactly where. And, uh... Or, and then when you're red, you're really close, and then you have an exclamation point above your head when you're right there. And, uh, to both, to this level, there's two sections. If you land, if you hop on this turtle, it'll take you to the other part of the sections. Oh, you have to push B, Dry Lagoon. And you're looking for the three emerald shards. Okay, it's not up there. Oh, not that way. Must be this way. Okay, it's not down there. Is it up here? No. Oh. What? Oh, okay. You want to find these with saying one minute of each other because then you get a higher time bonus. Oh, okay. It's gotta be close. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought that was it, but it was just the animal. Is it going in here? Okay. Where is it? Right. Oh, there it is. So that's treasure hunting gameplay. Now you can only have one radar reacting at a time, so yeah. How is that? Perfect, like me? So that's the end of part one. I'll see you in part two.